your girl Ari. I am back for week three Monday Night Football updates and predictions. So before we get into our predictions for today's game, let's just address some things from yesterday. Yesterday, the Sunday games were crazy. You know I'm a Lions fan, so I was at the Lions game. If you haven't already watched that vlog, go check that out. But when I tell you that game was so intense, the crowd was rocking. The whole stadium was literally rocking. The energy could be felt on the field, in the stands, probably on the street. And for the game to end the way it did with that 66-yard field goal by the Ravens kicker, Justin Tucker, that mess was ridiculous. So there's a lot of controversy going on today. I saw that Dan Campbell, the coach of the Detroit Lions, is waiting on an apology from the NFL regarding the call that was not made by the refs yesterday. Not sure what was going on. I had joked all day yesterday saying that maybe those refs were from Baltimore. Who knows? But it just didn't go in our favor. Also, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, you know, they won yesterday because of a field goal. Field goals are becoming very important. I don't know. I know they've always been important. That's why the kickers are paid so much. But, you know, we're starting to see a lot of games come down to field goal. Last week, you know, the Vikings, they lost because of a missed field goal. This week, the Lions lost because the Ravens made their field goal. The Packers won because of their field goal. So these field goals are becoming really important. All right. But that's enough about last Sunday's games. People are still heated about that. So we're going to move on to today. We're back with something new, more football, okay? So for today's game, we have the 1-1 one one Philadelphia Eagles taking on the 1-1 one one Dallas Cowboys. This is a rivalry that has been going on for forever. You guys know, if you've been following me, that I don't really care for the Cowboys like that. I don't hate them. I just think that their fans are a little delusional. But I understand because these are two NFC East teams. I understand the hype of the game, and I do understand why fans are so excited today. Both teams are dealing with injuries. The Cowboys, their offense is emerging, which is a great thing because they have a lot of strong players that could really make for a strong and solid offense that we haven't seen in Cowboy years. Years. In Cowboy years. Years. Uh, as far as the Eagles go, if Jalen Hurts could get his completion rate up, definitely think that the same thing would apply. They would be able to have a stronger offense overall. Last week, he only had 190 yards against their the 49ers, and they lost. So hopefully this week, they're going to regroup and be ready. I do think that they're going to face some struggles when it comes to the Cowboy defense, which is why I'm going to go with the Cowboys for the win today. All right, guys, so you know on Mondays and Thursdays, we're doing something special. We're going to highlight a player from the home team. Today, the Cowboys are home, so what'd your girl do? I scrolled through the roster, found a player, and so today's player that we're going to highlight is, drumroll please, I need to get the sound effect, Jabril Cox, number 14 linebacker from LSU. He's a rookie. He was drafted this year, fourth round. He was 115th pick of the 2021 draft. Nice to meet you. Hey, you're a newbie. So I went on Google, did a whole bunch of searches. I searched his Instagram, found some pictures of his family, some, some college day pictures. Uh, I did some Google searches, saw that he had an ACL injury while he was in college. He switched schools. One of the biggest things that I found when I searched his name was that he is Polynesian or Samoan, I should say. Um, but that's really all I could find about him, which is shocking. I couldn't find any other information about him. So... I know he's new, so maybe the information will trickle in sooner. But as of right now, that's all I really got for him. I could go over his stats for college, but I feel like you guys probably could look that up yourself. So all we're going to do today is we're just going to touch on him. We're going to let it be known that maybe he'll play today because the Cowboys are facing a lot of injuries. And they're saying that today might be his lucky day to get out there and finally play. So good luck to him. We're wishing him a great season. Stay healthy. You know, play great make you know some power moves out there and uh yeah we're just gonna wish him good luck on his rookie season this is his first season in the nfl nfl from college is an adjustment so hopefully you know he has a great season but we're gonna send him all of our our support okay so if you guys see him on the field make sure you're like hey that's jabril cox number 14 linebacker from lsu and you know just send him lots of encouragement so with that being said, that's really all I have for today. It's Thursday Night Football. The game is about to start. If it hasn't already and you're seeing this and the game is already on, comment and let me know the score. But with that being said, we are all set for today. Monday Night Football is officially beginning. And, yeah, we're going to wrap this thing up so you guys can go watch the game and I can go watch the game. As always, connect with me on social media. At Peace Love Aries is my social media handle on all social medias. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. 
I don't know what other social media is, but that's my social media name, probably wherever you can find it. Also, if you haven't already, go check out the website, get your football bag hoodies, hats, crop tops, sweatshirts, all that good stuff. I also have the football vibes only shirts. Those are on those though, are limited edition, so make sure you hurry and get those. And then until next time, that's, that's it. Check out the other videos. Go look at those vlogs. The last vlog was freaking hilarious. I had a blast editing it and watching it, so I think you guys will enjoy it too. But until next time, peace and love. When it comes to balling, I'ma do it all. On purpose, on purpose. On purpose.